What's up, Raid Shadow Legends here. This is uh, Catalyst Gaming with uh, Raid Shadow Legends doing a shard opening. Uh, we got 11 ancient shards. Uh, we're just going to open those and then uh, going to do some campaign and just talk about uh, kind of uh, my day. Figured that would be a, a cool little daily thing to do. Maybe open uh, 11 shards and do a little vlog thing. Uh, we'll do them uh, one by one. Uh, I'm really not really sure what I'm looking for uh, specifically. Uh, any legendaries or voids would be terrific, really. Earlier I pulled a uh, Relic Keeper um, just from a ancient shard. It's just saved, uh, saved the shard and recorded all that together. Would have been uh, made for a better video. Let's see who's this guy. Hmm. That's not too bad. He could be pretty good. Most of these guys are probably just going to end up uh, being food. Like no love today. That's okay. That could be good for a uh, spirit keep. Yeah, this might be a good little girl for a uh, spirit keep. Do a video on her. Let's see here. Okay, this this team. Huh. That's okay. So it's passive. that down to a three turn. His passive could be good for a clan boss. I'm thinking with a bunch of poisons, attack him, make him a tank. I see one. No way, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Oh. All right. That's all right. We'll uh, claim our reward here in the event. XP brews. Uh, no market. Um, all right, let's go into. Oh, actually, let's do some arenas. Uh, <sighs> so, uh, how's everybody been? Uh, are y'all enjoying enjoying the gameplay uh, of Raid? Uh, how the game is currently. In in state, um, are going forward to that 1.2 update? Uh, I know they mentioned they're going to be buffing the counterattack, um, not buffing, I'm sorry, nerfing the counterattack, uh, buff. Uh, so, I'm curious to see how they're going to do that, how they're going to, uh, make it more, uh, relevant to everybody, make it ba uh, more balanced, um, and not so base. I think, uh, they, don't quote me on this, but they said something along the lines of make it where not having a counterattack isn't as game changing as it used to be. Um, so I think that'll be interesting. Uh, I think it could change a lot of the meta for the clan boss um, and the arena. Uh, because if you have things in place where counterattack are not as uh, dire and crucial to have, like where you have to have it and you can change up your team. Uh, you don't have to have those champions. 
uh, it can change a lot of the um, comp positions we see in the arena and those uh, 30 million key um, nightmare clan bosses. Let's see here. Uh, but let me know what y'all think down below. We'll do a couple more of these, I think. And then uh, I'm going to clear up my uh, champion storage and blow up some people. And then we'll cut back to some campaign farming and we'll continue from there. Uh, as you can see, my arena team really isn't the best. Um, uh, I just recently pulled Warlord uh, the other day for that two times 40 event. I was extremely happy with that pull. Uh, that was really a change error for my account. That was my second legendary. Uh, my first one was Hackborn Smash Lord, something like that. Uh, he's alright, but I, I really wouldn't I haven't been using him. He's good for, he's really good for anything with poisons. He's great for void keep because he has a skill where um, it removes all debuffs from all allies and heals all allies based off his max health plus a percentage of the deep, uh, plus a percent for the debuffs removes each debuff. So if you have covered in poisons, you're going to be getting a lot of heals, your team will stay alive, and you, he can really carry you through there. So him combined with Warlord, keeping the shields up, and then keeping poisons away, it's uh, great. Um, that was not too hard. And then... Right. Uh, we'll cut to uh, some campaign here in a second, and continue where we left off. We're back, and uh, we're just in some... Uh, uh, Brutal 6, Tune, uh, Stage 4, I believe it is. Um, the one with the gloves, uh, trying to get some 5 star gloves with uh, some defense stats. Um, but as we were talking about before, uh, before we cut away, uh, I really do believe that with the counterattack change, um, it's going to make a big meta change. Uh, the one way I believe they may be implementing it is with True Fear. Uh, but that's only really affecting arena and not clan boss or any sort of um, dungeon boss type setting. Uh, so I'm not sure what it is. In, am I gonna die right here? Oh, that, there we go. Yeah. Who so just is doing some weird things? Um, anyway, I really do believe that uh, true fear may be the new new thing they're adding into the game, um, which they already are implementing uh, with Madame Ceres and uh, what's that other character, Barakis, uh, the legendary, um, and I think Frankenstein has it too, but well, I think we're going to start seeing it in these uh, 14 new champions that are going to be coming out in December, um, probably going to be some Christmas themed, uh, maybe not true fair, maybe it's uh, more charming or taunting or uh, something like that. Uh, Long lines of that, uh, but we'll see in the coming weeks. Um, if I were to estimate, I would say we'll probably see 1.2 in about 10 days, probably in the first week in December. We'll see patch 1.2 uh, that will along with the new champions and some quality of life changes, uh, which I'm really looking forward to. Uh, but let me know what y'all think in the comments. Uh, hope y'all enjoyed the video, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Y'all take care. This was Catalyst Gaming signing out.